Hello friends and welcome to another day, another DCP video. <laughs> In today's video I'm going to be talking about what you should pack and a lot of it is going to be just simple things that are pretty, seem pretty obvious but you kind of forget when all the excitement starts to rush through your body. You literally forget everything that exists and what you need and where you're going. Do you need 18 jackets? Absolutely not. If you want to bring it, go for it. Number one thing I'm going to recommend that you bring that might be impossible for a lot of people, but a car. 8 million percent. I'm so, so, so grateful I had a car. I was able to give rides to people that didn't. And... It's just really nice for work, it's reliable, DCP busing, not the most reliable thing, a little bit scary. I rode in them a couple times to go to Epcot, and it wasn't the worst, but I am like a freak, like a freak about time, and I hate, hate, hate being late, so just having a car was kind of a need for me because I never wanted to be late and I wanted reliable transportation and if I wanted to go somewhere I didn't want to have to like wait for a bus time to go like I just wanted to go whenever I wanted to go and again it was kind of nice to give people rides or take rides from other people again you can probably if you don't bring a car once you like meet people and get to know them they will most likely like drive you to and from work especially if you have the same shift because I know I did it plenty and both ways so because I hate to drive but yeah and it was nicer because then I was able to pack more stuff because I knew I was gonna move down there so it was it was nice being able to pack more as well than just bring like a suitcase okay let's get right into it Perfect. So things that you're not going to think that you need, but you do. Your insurance card for sure. I don't think that's on this list. It's not. Your insurance card, God forbid anything happens to you, bring that bad boy just in case you never know. Plus it's just kind of important to always have. Along with that, I would say I bring my AAA everywhere with me. Even if it's somebody else in the car, at least I have it so I can help them out. And then we'll get into like documents you will need for onboarding. You're gonna need either your passport or your ID or your social security card. You're gonna need your onboarding documents, print those out, bring them with you, as well as your offer letter, proof of student status form. I didn't need that, but maybe you do. I don't know, background check, visa card, and cash. <laughs> This is going really well so far. I think I just brought like my passport for my verification and that was enough. But they give you a whole list of what you should bring for your documents. So just look at that. They send you a bunch of emails before so you're well prepared on what you need to bring. But something that you definitely don't think of is definitely that insurance card, your medical card. Bring that because it's really, really, really nice to have in case of... God forbid anything happens to you again. There's like a huge sickness that seems to go around with every CP class because you get exposed to so many people and yeah, you just get really sick. It's bound to happen. Luckily, it didn't happen for me, but everybody else it happened. So, medical card in case if you need to go to urgent care. Clothes. For sure, bring at least... They say to bring three, but I brought two. Two business casual outfits because you're gonna need them for traditions and training. I would say bring pants and like a t-shirt or a dress because Disney look is kind of stricter. So your dress like has to cover a lot as well as go beyond like right above your knees. As, long, as well as if you have tattoos on your legs or something that also needs to be covered. So they're just really big on to big onto Disney look so just make sure you're in Disney look especially during trainings because a lot of people are watching you that you don't expect as well as when you come to check in just be like professional from here up so like this t-shirt would be fine because they do take your picture 
for your IDs. So just make sure, like literally this would be perfect. Just don't have like nose piercings in or like five ear piercings here. And as long as it's not like a graphic tee up to here, which this is, but the pocket's low. So just something Disney look, which again, they send you a whole booklet. You can review it. It's pretty easy and straightforward. And then for clothes, they say, bring lots of sundresses which i agree with because dresses are super easy and they're cool especially in the florida heat and then shorts skirts tank tops sweater also i would bring honestly as little as you can because you're gonna want to buy a bunch of stuff so yeah this is like a lot of stuff but a lot of it i wouldn't recommend bringing i would just bring the bare like the very bare minimum because you're going to be in your costume anyways as well as you're going to want to buy everything and anything trust me it's hard to pass up especially when you get that holiday discount a sweater loungewear of course sweats that's what i lived in pjs socks underwear bras sports bras bralettes activewear they do have gyms and, oh well I'm sure Flamingo Crossing has gyms. Yeah, it would be like old housing. So if you want to work out, bring some activewear. Or if you're like me and wear active shorts every day of your life, do that. Swimsuits, of course, because they do have a pool and a hot tub. Lucky you guys. I didn't get a hot tub, but our pool was really nice. And then, of course, rain jackets. That's a good or you can always buy a poncho but I would say bring a rain jacket because it's cheaper and it's more reliable toiletries contacts contact solution shampoo conditioner face cleaner razor shower gel makeup hairbrush flattering curling iron hair dryer glasses that's a big one that I always forget and then shoes and bags flip-flops sandals running shoes toms that's interesting flats flats for tradition like business casual shoes as well as depending where you are but most of the time you're gonna need black shoes and black socks wedges I wouldn't recommend bringing wedges I would honestly just bring a pair of Chacos Crocs and athletic shoes because that's all you're gonna need and of course the black shoes that you're gonna live in at work and then a beach bag purse park bag park bag that's also big but again you might end up wanting to buy like a lounge fly or something so completely up to you let's see electronics your phone a phone charger a camera a camera charger a memory card a laptop a laptop charger headphones bluetooth speaker which is nice for in the shower others your prescription medication sunglasses beach towel bath towels you can also keep in mind if you forget something, there's a Target, there's a Publix, there's a Walmart, there's so many outlet malls around that if you forget a thing, you're going to find it. So don't even be concerned if you forget anything. Face cloth, hand towel, bed sheets, blankets. I kind of like how my one roommate did it. She brought, because you'll need twin sheets and a twin comforter, she brought a twin comforter and it was like Lion King or something and at the end of her program she just threw it out. It's kind of a smart idea to do because when are you ever going to need a twin size bed again? Well, I guess if you go back to school in a dorm but I don't know. I thought that was smart just buying a cheap comforter and then throwing it out because you're not going to need it anymore. Pillowcases, Mickey ears, photos if you want, um, books if you want, magic bands, Again, you're going to want to buy all this stuff, though. Something I would definitely, definitely, definitely invest in is a good mattress pad because it's important for your comfort, especially when you're working 12-hour days and you just want a nice sleep. It's so nice to go back on a mattress pad rather than the stiff jail beds that they give you. Pillows, sunscreen, thumbtacks blah 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 food of course work shoes tights or socks you're gonna need a lot of black socks as well with the black shoes and then it just goes into basic things that you'll need that you can share like cleaning supplies toilet paper paper towels dishcloths dish show 
detergent, knives, blender, toaster, cooker, blah, blah, blah. It's a little bit more difficult because you can, we could only link up with one person, but still you can talk to your roommate to see if they're bringing like a TV or anything. We ended up just buying one we were in, we were down there. So, again, you're going to forget stuff, but it's not a big deal because you can buy it because there's a bunch of stores around. So don't worry too much about what to bring, but definitely I would say bring like all your important documents that you need, especially like photo ID, social security birth certificate, um, all that fun stuff. Don't forget that. But that is all I have for today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, thank you so, so, so much for watching, and I hope you have a magical day.